what is going on guys welcome back to the channel yes i know this week i'm wearing glasses my contacts were bothering me when i started recording so you're gonna have to deal with my ugly ass wearing glasses trust me i hate wearing them i hate it i hate it i want lasik if you guys want to send super chats and shit so i can afford lasik that'd be sick <laughs> we're getting back into sabaton it's been a minute i'm excited man i love sabaton we're doing father and, uh, I don't know. There's not much else to say. These guys never, ever, ever disappoint. So I'm super, super pumped. I feel like my glasses are all fucked up. It's my goddamn headset. See, this is, I, this is gonna piss me off. Uh, don't mind me. But yeah, let's get into it. So as always, if you guys enjoy, make sure you smash the like, subscribe, check out the new improved merch store. We got a bunch of stuff down there and the, uh, Patreon and all that stuff. Let's get into it, man, though. As always, I'm excited. Let's rock and roll, baby. All right. Whew. Love Sabaton. Ooh. The men with great ambitions rise So who can tell me, who can say for sure Which one will win the Nobel Prize? Oh. In the age of science The Kaiser Reich would hold the key okay. And as the conflict came and tensions rose The manifest of the 93 Habermas, the great alliance Where's the contradiction? <sighs> I love by ways of science in the Lord of Saint. Before it jumps in, because it's about to, I love the historical context of all their songs. If you haven't seen my other Sabaton videos, go watch them because I have fallen in love. They're the only band that does this that I know of that really like tell history in a rock anthem kind of way. It's I fucking love it because I'm also a history nerd. And, uh, oh, dude, they just do such a good job. I, I absolutely love it. The music's also just spot on fantastic. Yeah. Some light deals on science, the words of alienated wife. And in the trenches of the Western Front, I know his soldiers. They really stick to World War One and Two that I've seen for the most part. And of the fields, the crops are grown. So who can tell us what is right? Which makes sense because they're a European band, so those are the two that really affected them most. So, what do you guys think? What do you think of the guy who created Agent Orange, Mustard Gas, all that stuff? I mean, they're two separate people. One comes from the other. Like, someone was going to fix the same thing with the, um, the atom bombs. Like, someone was going to figure it out. You know? It's just unfortunate, the shit that we can come up with to kill each other. <laughs> like, we can come up with shit to fuck each other up, but we can't cure cancer. Like, give me a fucking break. Yes, we can. It's called money. Same thing with fucking insulin and all that stuff. It's all expensive because they make money off it. 
It's fucking pathetic. The world we live in is fucked up. But money is everything, right? God. Sing to me, baby girl. Oh, give me some dime bag in that one. Tell you what, this is not, this is not what I expected father to be about. You know what I mean? Like, I was expecting. God, these are really pissing me off. I might just take them off and watch the rest blind. Um, I was expecting. Oh God, a father going off to war, maybe father of the atomic bomb. Did not expect chemical warfare. Like that, that, not at all where my mind went. It's very like just marching into the battlefield. It's just like. Um, Oh, Bismarck was such a fantastic song too. Not for nothing. I'm gonna make a little plug for them. Not that they, not that they need it, but check their merch out. Their merch is fucking phenomenal. Their merch is so sick. Always is. And this video is fantastic. Ah, oh, I think that's gonna be it for this, right? You never know. They might throw something in the last two seconds. Now we're done. Okay. Ooh, corn's touring, baby. All right, we got to stop this now. <laughs> Go see Corn Live if you haven't. They're fucking awesome. God. Okay. Not what I expected. Like I just said, I really expected like, you know, a father going off to war song or maybe the atom bomb or whatever. I did not expect chemical warfare because not for nothing, no one really talks about chemical warfare. Not as much. It's not as... I don't want to say exciting, but when you think of like big things, the atom bombs were pretty big, you know, like it was, it was the chemical warfare stuff was used more and just as fucked up, but it wasn't as like exciting, you know, Why am I holding a bottle cap. I always record these videos and I always something stupid in my hand. Like I'll, I'll pick up a bottle cap. I'll pick up a guitar pick. I'll pick up. But one day I had a. How was it? Probably laying here somewhere. I think it was like a staple. Or a fucking paper clip. I don't know. <laughs> Point being. Right back with the bottle cap. Oh, nope. Dropped it. Okay. That's gone. It'll be something else in the next one. <laughs> oh, God. Point being. Song's fantastic. Music's fantastic. That guitar solo was sexy, by the way. But. The band talks about shit that you don't think of in history all the time. Like, not a lot of people go World War One, chemical warfare. Like, you you do, but, like, that's not the first thing that comes to mind. Um, trench warfare comes to mind first, usually. World War Two, 
depending on what side you're talking about, whether it's uh, Pacific or European, people will think atom bomb or Holocaust, right? <clears throat> Chemical warfare is kind of like tucked underneath. I mean, it's just as fucked up, but you get the point. And it's just, it's unreal. I love how this band just goes so deep into history. I want to know what else they do. Like, cause most of the shit they do is World War One. See, I'm already picking something else up. World War One, World War Two. And uh, I want to know if they get into like other stuff. You know, I'm kind of curious. So let me know in the comments and uh, let me know what song to do next. It's been a minute since we did Sabaton. So trust me, I'm excited to get back into them. And uh, let me know. So we'll get into more. But that's going to be it for this one. As always, if you guys enjoy, smash the like, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the new improved merch store. I promise you, there's some pretty sick stuff over there. And uh, let me know what else you guys are looking for. And I'll catch you in the next one. As always, stay happy, stay healthy. Later.